iOS isn't a simple OS with a few basic features anymore that Steve Jobs showed us in the first iPhone. It became much more functional for more personal and business-oriented tasks. We've seen both iPhone and iPad improve over the years and got features which user requested. Last one, iOS 12, was oriented mostly on the performance and stability to fix all of the major bugs it had since day one. But today, we're talking about the iOS 13, which is rumored to be made for bringing new functionality to make the user experience even better with the both iPhone and the iPad. So let's take a look at everything that Apple has to change and bring in the iOS 13. So let's start with the more customizable lock screen. We had the same look of the iPhone lock screen for ages and almost didn't change all that much. How about bringing more user flexibility here and allowing us to adjust it, add widgets like weather or stocks, to have a quick glance at the new info once you need it without unlocking your iPhone. And how about the camera? This part also requires a big revamp. Why not to give people freedom to adjust camera settings inside of the camera app directly? Select the frames per second mode and video resolution when you need it. And in the same time, implement raw photo mode for more professional edits and use. Another big thing that most iPhone users are waiting for is the night or dark mode. This is already available on macOS Mojave and it surely enough will be here in iOS 13 on iPhone. And with that, Apple give us two night mode options, a true dark mode for OLED display to save the battery and a lighter dark blue mode for our personal preference. How cool would that be? And how many times have you had to decline a call without the ability to just swipe it away if you're not able to answer it? Kind of like if you have a regular message that can be swiped away. That can distract a lot when you're concentrated on something and some phone call is coming in. Now the control center. When Apple changed the look of the control center, adding a list of system setting blocks, which can be 3D touched, they didn't think about third-party applications. How cool would that be if we could replace or add these toggles from Shortcuts app or other apps that we download from an app store? And how about porting some features from current iPad to the iPhone, like the new split screen feature or picture in picture mode? This could easily be implemented in bigger iPhone models, plus series and Face ID enabled iPhones. There is a clearly enough room for it and even for a small video that you could watch when browsing another app. Quite frankly, the most annoying part of the iOS is the volume HUD. This has to finally go in the iOS 13 and become replaced by the new slick and minimalistic volume control bar like in the video app of the iPhone X. And last but not least is the Files app. I'm truly thankful for that app, as it brought a ton of flexibility, and not only iPhone, but also to the iPad as well. Uh, this is especially useful on iPad Pro, that is mostly aimed towards professionals. But the lack of the USB drive and disk support is letting down a lot of users. With this added, we can get almost a full-fledged open operating system and get possibilities with it. And that is it. That's my current vision of the iOS 13 in terms of the features. Of course, let me know what you think about the iOS 13 in the comments below, what other features would you like to see in it, and stay subscribed for more.